JB from Seven Figures Management is about to break into sports management. After a successful pitch, he's ecstatic when Popo agrees to be his client. However, this joy is short-lived as Popo demands a million-dollar signing bonus, a figure that JB can't afford. JB and Ash struggle to keep their management company afloat after losing a potential client to a larger agency. Despite the setbacks, JB remains hopeful and firm in not returning to their previous, larger employer. The mention of a baseball owner, William Chong, presents a potential avenue to explore. JB and Ash brainstorm about tapping into new talent markets for their management company, considering young talent. Their conversation takes light-hearted turns discussing countries and even joking about scouting locations. JB defends his love for cricket against Ash's teasing, arguing its popularity worldwide. Done. The scene centers around JB's business proposition to Chang. JB believes they can tap into India, an unexplored market for baseball, by converting cricket players into baseball pitchers. While watching cricket on TV, JB conveys his plan for a talent contest that would gain massive press attention and potentially attract a billion new fans for Major League Baseball. His pitch points out the associated merchandising opportunities. Brenda agrees to arrange a meeting with Chang to discuss the idea further. JB and Ash debate over the feasibility of their ambitious project to train Indian cricket players as baseball pitchers in just one year. They approach Tom House, an experienced baseball coach, who initially expresses skepticism about their plan due to the drastically different dynamics of the two sports. JB and Ash, despite skepticism from coach Tom House, remain determined in their goal to train two Indian kids as major league baseball prospects within a year. Meanwhile, parallel to his recruitment project, JB's relationship with Brenda strengthens. His professional and personal lives intersect when Brenda needs help with her broken washing machine. JB leaves for India, asking Brenda to use his washing machine while he's gone. On arrival in India, he experiences the chaos and bustle of the city. He meets Vivek from whom he was supposed to get a pickup from the airport. JB and Vivek discuss the recruitment project, Million Dollar Arm despite the unfortunate misunderstanding regarding his airport pickup. JB officially starts working in India and tries to adjust to the Indian way of doing things. In a meeting with Vivek, he learns about delays and issues in obtaining the materials required for the Million Dollar Arm project, including dealing with the customs system to bypass bureaucratic roadblocks. JB struggles to navigate the Indian way of navigating bureaucratic roadblocks and is advised to be patient. Meanwhile, he finds a retired and reputable scout, Ray, for the Million Dollar Arm Project. He also meets Amit, a passionate baseball teacher from New Mumbai who expresses interest in working with him. JB hires Amit, a local baseball fanatic who is willing to work for free. Amit helps JB organically spread the word about the contest around India, leveraging the country's passion for cricket. Meanwhile, JB continues to struggle with the lack of formal contracts, highlighting the cultural difference in business operations. JB gets a fright when he meets the super-tired Ray, a major league baseball scout he invited to help judge the competition. Ray demands rest in a nice hotel before any action. The next day, they start their multi-city talent search throughout India. Initially excited by the turnout, JB's hopes dampen after half a day without a promising throw over 45 miles per hour. In the 13th scene, a large crowd turns up for the Million Dollar Arm Contest. JB's hopes continue to dim as nobody is able to throw over 45 miles per hour. Brenda informs JB about a problem with his washing machine back home, and despite the huge turnout at the contest, he is only becoming more frustrated. An earnest older man emphasizes his enthusiasm and young spirit, wishing to participate for the Million Dollar Prize. The contest continues, but the participants are largely cricket players and can't throw over 65 miles per hour, leaving JB demotivated. During a conversation with Brenda, Rinku, a track and field athlete, expresses interest in signing up for the contest. JB's search for baseball talent continues, but he's disheartened by the repeated failures. He shares his frustrations with Brenda back home, who tries to reassure him. They reach luck now next, where Ray's queasy stomach overshadows any optimism about potential players. Finally, they find a player in Lucknow who impresses them with his pitching. As they move to other locations, their luck continues and they assemble a group of talented players. The hopeful players are moved to Mumbai for further training under Ray. Amit is requested to accompany them to the U.S. as a translator. The scene ends with JB acknowledging Amit's role in their success. Amidst the heated training in Mumbai, JB and Brenda share a light-hearted Skype call about JB's experience in India. 
Back at the training, Rinku and Dinesh bond over their shared dislike of cricket and former sports backgrounds. A hype-filled million-dollar arm competition is underway. Participants throw their pitches as spectators and judges cheer them on. Candidates try to get the fastest throws, with Dinesh impressively achieving the highest speed at 84. Rinku impresses the judges by finally achieving a perfect strike and winning the competition. Dinesh comes in a close second, clinching a trip to the U.S. and a chance to train for a major league baseball team. Elated by this unexpected victory, JB and his partner Ash celebrate their successful endeavor. JB and Vivek visit Rinku and Dinesh's homes to inform their families of the life-changing opportunity in America. They witness the rural and humble life. Even though Dinesh's mother seems worried, his father shows trust and gives his blessing. Meanwhile, JB acknowledges the great responsibility that comes with this opportunity. At Dinesh's village, Dinesh's mother expresses her concern about his departure to JB, who reassures her. On the car ride to Vivek's house, a miscommunication is revealed. Dinesh is not a cricket player. He plays field hockey instead. Brenda invites them all to her house to watch cricket. JB leaves Dinesh and Rinku in the care of Amit providing him a camera to document their journey. He asks Summit to record everything as it could prove useful as a marketing tool. As he leaves, JB expresses concern for the boys' adjustment to their new surroundings. Upon reaching home, JB gifts Brenda a miniature replica of the Taj Mahal. When JB returns home, he finds Brenda with a new man, Mark. The meeting is light and awkward, especially when JB sees the miniature Taj Mahal he just gifted Brenda. Shortly after, Amit calls to report that the boys have caused a disturbance which lands them in a bit of trouble. Brenda and Ray, who were keeping an eye on Rinku and Dinesh, drop them off at JB's place, meaning he now has to look after them. The boys are astonished by JB's lavish lifestyle and the fact he lives alone. The following day, Brenda oversleeps, potentially causing JB to run late for a meeting. Quickly integrated into JB's fast-paced lifestyle, Rinku and Dinesh hastily prepare for their first training day at USC. The language barrier continues to cause confusion, but nonetheless they convey enthusiasm and resilience, promising to impress their coach, Tom, and his assistant, Doug. One such misunderstanding arises when the boys, unfamiliar with baseball terms and equipment, believe that the catcher's mitt is used to warm their throwing. Despite the initial struggles, Rinku and Dinesh do their best to follow Tom's instructions during their first baseball training. Later, they have their first experience with pizza and contemplate their position in America, missing their home and worrying about their performance. While training, Rinku reveals his homesickness and Dinesh suggests embracing their American life fully. Brenda informs JB that their funds are running out, adding pressure. Luckily, a call from a potential client, Popo, offers them some hope. Rinku and Dinesh express their frustrations about their training and reflect on JB's unusual absence. When Brenda meets the guys later, she encourages them and dispels their doubts about JB's commitment to their journey. Brenda expresses her concern to JB about the boys not integrating well and tells him that the boys need more support in fun activities. Later, JB takes Rinku and Dinesh to a party where they meet Popo Vanuatu, an NFL linebacker, highlighting the new worlds their talent is leading them to. At the party, Rinku and Dinesh seem out of place dealing with unfamiliar food and drinks accidentally getting drunk, resulting in swimming in someone's fountain. JB gets interrupted with a call and is rather annoyed as he has to leave his conversation with Popo to assist the boys. After Rinku and Dinesh engage in inappropriate behavior at the party causing JB to lose a significant client and creating a mess, he expresses his frustrations to Brenda. JB is unsure of his ability to handle their behavior and is concerned about the disruptions to his personal and professional life. Brenda offers him perspective, suggesting it's a temporary situation. JB reveals his financial troubles to Brenda, explaining that making Rinku and Dinesh's baseball dream a reality is his last shot. Brenda counsels JB, encouraging more engagement with the boys to help them adapt and succeed. Post Brenda and JB's candid conversation, everyone watches a movie that moves Dinesh and Rinku to tears. In a more relaxed setting, Brenda and JB share a drink and discuss the changes that JB has experienced since coming back from India. Brenda, noticing a shift in his persona, sees a changed man but chooses to stay reticent about her observations and just enjoy the transformation. JB is ambushed by questions about his involvement with Brenda from the team. They push him to marry Brenda and start a family, especially given his age. Meanwhile, Chang calls and insists on a tryout for the team despite JB's desire to stall a bit longer for additional preparation. 
JB is pressurized by Chang to honor their agreement about the team's tryouts. However, Tom expresses concern over the potential media pressure. Despite finding out they lost their ASU's field for the tryouts and Dinesh's injury, the team pushes forward, buoyed by the news of 24 scout RSVPs for their event. Dinesh suffers a hand injury while Brenda is teaching him to cook, causing JB stress and concern over the upcoming tryouts. Brenda suggests postponing the event, but JB is harsh in his response, highlighting the weight of his investment on the boys' success. Brenda confronts JB, reminding him that Dinesh and Rinku are just kids. As Dinesh and Rinku leave for their tryouts, Brenda wishes them luck and patches things up with JB. Her concern is that JB is putting his deal above all else. As for Dinesh and Rinku, though uncertain, they are told that the only opinions that matter are their own as they head off for the trials. The live broadcast of Dinesh and Rinku's tryout reaches nearly half a billion people in India. Their performance at the tryout is slightly hindered due to the absence of a rubber on the mound. Their pitches are all over the place, leaving Pete skeptical about their potential. JB insists that potential can be seen from a marketing perspective. Despite disappointing performances at their major league tryout, JB is promised a three-year deal by Mr. Chang, putting their visibility on the line rather than their talent. Dinesh and Rinku acknowledge their subpar performance in the interviews, but hold on to a glimmer of hope for the future. After realizing his mistake, JB apologizes to Brenda for his behavior and expresses his deep regret about the failed tryout. He decides to give Dinesh and Rinku another chance, despite Mr. Chang's strong concerns about the potential damage to their relationships and investments. After Mr. Chang withdraws his support, a regretful JB takes responsibility for the failed tryout, claiming he set Dinesh and Rinku up for failure. Faced with multiple rejections, JB and Brenda decide to host another tryout. Back in Brenda's office, they work tirelessly to invite scouts. Meanwhile, Ray, a former baseball scout, surprisingly visits JB. In spite of their faulty earlier plans, JB and Ray rush to attend a dining event where they meet Walter. Unfamiliar to JB, Walter seems to enjoy a high standing in the baseball community, hinting he may play some role in their race against time. While dining with Ray and an influential scout, Walter Shapiro, JB receives an unexpected surprise a home-cooked Indian meal by Amit and the boys. Despite their disappointment in their earlier trials, they thank JB for his efforts. The dinner is interrupted by Asha's call giving the good news of a second MLB tryout. After receiving news of a second MLB tryout, JB encourages Rinku and Dinesh to have fun and cherish the moment, expressing his pride in their journey. Later, an impromptu dinner with influential scout Walter Shapiro is interrupted by Asha's surprise call about a second MLB tryout. Despite the unexpected change, all share the meal with joy. The big day is here and everyone is nervous, especially seeing Scout Chang in the crowd. Amidst the tension, Amit is given the chance to pep talk Rinku and Dinesh, reminding them of their journey and the dreams they're inspiring back in India. Feeling a sense of camaraderie, they chant India on account of three, encouraging each other to stay focused. As the scouts evaluate their potential, Rinku demonstrates his impressive pitching skills. The session ends on a high note as Chang informs them they have been signed by the Pittsburgh Pirates.